Hello, welcome to Anton Griffin's vocational series in MATLAB tutorials. This tutorial is an ex it's a further explanation of the uh, top hat and bottom hat that was used for the mammogram problem. So we have a, an introduction here, and I'm sure you can read that on screen, and I think you got the drift of it by now. So we generated the table of contents, and just to remind you here, guys, that the original file was posted here. So as before, we cleared the workspace, we cleared the screen, we read in the script here, and just for a bit of calculation purposes, we got the mean and we got the standard deviation. Just one thing to note, uh, guys, that if you're new to MATLAB, uh, when you're getting the standard deviation, you end up trying to get the square root of a number, ultimately, when you do the maths. So you might be trying to get the square root of 168, that's the thing from 169, so you'll end up with 12.9, whatever it is, rather than 13. So there'll be trouble, so you have to convert the image to double with a cast operator, like so, just right highlight it there. The mean, which we'll get to in a second, is 74, and the standard deviation of the original image is 21.65. So you may be wondering why I bother getting the mean and the standard deviation. Well, the standard deviation would give me some idea of the contrast. If you had a very uh, tightly bunched uh, pixel value, say between 100 and 170, the standard deviation would be quite small, I don't know, 10, 11. And if you had you know, an IM adjust, which we met before, that might be corresponding to a standard deviation of 25 or something like that. So the reason why I mentioned this later on at the end, we're going to get the standard deviation of the contrast enhanced image, and that's going to be bigger. So we'll be able to see the white is whiter and the black is blacker. There's the original image. And I think I mentioned before about top hat and bottom hat. This stuff is here if you want to read it yourself. So I've created the structuring element, and I did the top hat first. Remember, it's an opening. And then you, once you get the opened image, you take that opened image um, away from the um, the original. So we created the structuring element here. We opened it. And just to go on here a little bit, I'll go back a second. There's the opened image. And there's the top hat by hand. Now just to remind you back here. the top. Hat, so we have the open image. And the top hat here is, the, I did it subtract. Oh, originally it's the original image less the opened image and in case I went too quick there's the opened image there's the top hat by hand I get back to that that's the top hat of the uh, of the original file sorry the top hat by MATLAB so just to go back here in case I'm jumping too much so just to remind you, we did the top hat, I did it as it were by hand, I opened it, and then I subtracted the open one from the original. I got the mean and standard deviation, doesn't really matter, I mean I just got it for the sake of argument. There's the opened image, there's the top hat by hand, and then I ran the MATLAB command, sorry, but just there, I am top hat, and I wanted to see where they equal which I hope they would be. We scroll down a little bit. I get to a test for equality. I just did a simple if a top at A equals top at. So in other words, the MATLAB version did it by the way I did it. The output is here. The two methods are the same. And then what do we do to get the contrast enhanced bit? We add the top hat to the original. So there we are. And we're going to display that down here. We got the mean and standard deviation. I'm not going to comment on that. And there's the top hat plus the original. So you can see here that the white bits are whiter. We found the intensity peaks, in other words, the whiter bits, and we added those intensity peaks to the original image. Now we're going to concentrate on the bottom hat. And the bottom hat just highlighting that bit there to find the intensity troughs. Okay, So I did it two ways. I closed the image there and then I, what I said was the IM bot hat was the closed image minus the original. 
and I also used down here the MATLAB way of doing it. Uh, again, I wanted to see did I get the same answer, and surprise, surprise, I did. So we just go down here. There's the closed image. So remember, a closing is a dilation followed by an erosion. So you would imagine that would be the. It would end up to be brighter. You can see here just the mean is 78. If you remember, the mean in the original image was 74. So you'd expect the overall values to go up. Standard deviation, not that much difference. That shouldn't be there. Are the two the same? Are the two methods the same? Sort of the manual way, in MATLAB, and the automatic way. There's the output there. They are the same. Scroll down a bit. That's the difference between the bot hat and the bottom hat. I just did that as per last week, just to give you some idea of what was going on. That we're trying to highlight those uh, intensity peaks. There's the bottom hat image on its own. So there are the intensity troughs. We found where the structuring element exactly fits the intensity troughs, the black bits. So how do we get the final answer? We excuse me now, just this line here. So it's the original image plus the top hat minus the bottom hat. We got the mean and the standard deviation of this, so I'll just look at those figures in a second, but just as per last week, just look at it. There's the original plus the top hat, and there's the final image. That's the original plus the top hat minus the bottom hat. You can see here where the mouse is flicking around here. Uh, we got quite good contrast. If we look at the mean, the mean is 74.7 and the standard deviation is 22.64. Go up to the very top. So try and remember 74.7 and 22.64. Go up to the top. 74. Point, what was the original? 74.3 and what was the one that we got at the very end? 74.7. So very close, but the standard deviation has gone up from 21.6 to 22.6. So in other words, we've got the numbers more spread out and by the numbers I mean we've made the black blacker and the white whiter. Okay, thanks very much for listening.